everyone welcome to my channel Kansas Girl 1969 this is Michelle and I'm really happy that you joined me I'm doing a little bit different type of video today it's going to be just a short little vlog about my recent experience with Juvederm Ultra XC I had that injected into my lips just um, almost three weeks ago I guess just a little over two weeks ago I don't want to exaggerate but that's it's been over two weeks well, let's put it that way and so I am really happy with the results and I thought you might be interested in seeing a little bit of my journey. I remember last year I had some Restylane injected into my lips and I will link that video below. Hopefully I can find that for you. But that has not worn off yet. That was going to last a year. It has not been a year since I had that done, but I was uh, just a little bit disappointed in my results because I was hoping to have a little bit more of a full look. So I went to my doctor and asked her about that and she said, okay, the Restylane gives a much more subtle look and the Juvederm Ultra XC is a thicker product and therefore will give a more plump appearance. Um, at first, my doctor wasn't sure if I would need one or two syringes, but then when she got to looking at my lips, she decided that one syringe would be enough. Okay, so my visit from the time I got there to the time I left was about two and a half hours. I know that sounds like a long time, but you'll understand why in just a second. She did take a lot of time and a lot of care in injecting me, which I completely appreciate. But before she started, I had to wash off my makeup. So I was, I started with a clean face and then she applied some lidocaine cream all over the lower part of my face and on my lips. So I had to sit with that cream for 20 to 30 minutes and then she wiped that off. And then we went in with some injections inside my mouth, underneath my lips. Um, dental block is what she called it. And she put one injection here, one here, one here, and one here. So then I had to sit and let that take effect. And so at that point, I felt really, really numb. And I thought, okay, this is going to be great. So I will tell you, though, even though I was very numb, that the lips must be extremely sensitive to pain because I feel like I have a high pain tolerance, yet it was still uncomfortable. It was manageable. It, I dealt with it fine, but it definitely was uncomfortable. You know, I get 30 injections of Botox um, for migraine prevention and treatment every three months. I get migraines two, three, four times a week, so I really feel like I have a high tolerance for pain, but apparently the lips are really, really sensitive. So to try to cut down on the injection sites and the pain, my doctor was, did very few puncture marks. So she did one here in this corner, one here in this corner, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And then what she did was she threaded a cannula through the puncture mark that she made and injected into my lips one half at a time. She actually did the bottom one first and then the upper. From what I understand, and I'm not a doctor or an esthetician, I'm not a medical professional, but the main ingredient in Juvederm that creates this plump look is hyaluronic acid. And as we all know, hyaluronic acid is great for helping us look rejuvenated and youthful and it's just a wonderful substance. And a lot of us put hyaluronic acid topically on our face. So this is why the Juvederm does such a nice job on the lips. Now after we were done, my doctor explained to me, of course I was swollen, she explained to me that it would take two weeks for the swelling to go down and for me to see the final results. And so at this point, it has been over two weeks. So I think this is basically my final result. Now I have a few little bumpy places inside my bottom lip, but I think that will resolve. And um, I'm not real worried about it. No one else really notices that. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what my lips are looking like right now. I'm very happy with how they look. So I'm really glad I did this. Um, the results will last a year, and so if I want to have this look, I will have to repeat this next year. Would I do it again? Hands down, absolutely. Now, without further ado, I have, I think, three videos that I took so that you could kind of see my journey from before and during and after. I had the procedure, just wanted to say hi, and this is the before. 
and then we'll get to see the after and how I heal because I'm sure I'll be swollen. Alrighty, see you in a bit. Hey, I just got out of there. I was in there quite a long time because she put numbing cream on me and then did dental block and still I felt some pain. So, you know, maybe everybody's different. I feel like I have a high pain tolerance, but apparently not so much around my mouth. So here we go, Juvederm, she put one syringe in. So this is one syringe split between the upper and lower lips. I am still numb, of course. I will update you again, maybe in a little while today. And of course, I will follow up with you tomorrow and the next day. It's now the day after I had the filler put in and I'm definitely, as you can see, swollen, kind of sore, but really I'm just thankful I can lounge around today and so that's what I've been doing, putting ice on my lips and taking it easy, putting some lip balm on. So that's how it is. Next day she told me I would probably be more swollen and I, that's why I didn't even get on and, and record last night because honestly my lips looked the same all day and all evening last night. It wasn't until this morning that I got up and saw that, whoa, they had swollen. Now it's Sunday. I had the injections done on Friday, so this is basically my second full day. And I have a little bit of the sugar lip balm on that's a light rosy tint. But I have some bruising on my lips. I need to record another clip on my better tripod with my better camera and let you know a little bit about how this filler was placed in my lips. I'm still kind of sore today and obviously swollen, but I feel like I'm doing a lot better. Hey, well now it's been two weeks since I had the Juvederm injected into my lips. I kind of forgot and then ran out of time to show you more of the in-between stage, but this is the two week mark and I'm really liking my lips. Uh, the lip product that I'm using today is a Smashbox liquid lipstick and it has bled a little bit. I needed to do better with my lip liner. But my lips look really nice. They're plump. <laughs> it seems funny saying that about my own lips. I appreciate you all watching my videos so much and your lovely comments always bring a smile to my face. I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!